It would be this hat because this is my father's hat. It's a suede hat. Feels like very, very good material. The hat is brown with a black band around it and a feather. Now, the funny thing is that the hat doesn't fit me. Okay, so I really can't wear it anywhere. What it means for me today is mainly luck. I kind of keep it for luck. My most treasured possession is my album, London Calling by The Clash. Uh, it's a vinyl, a vinyl record. Um, it was a double album uh, made in 1979. On the front cover, we have a photograph of the bass player, Paul Simonon, and it was taken by Penny Smith. On the back, we have the full track listing as well and more photographs of the band. And I think this is the greatest rock photograph ever taken and certainly the best album cover of all time. I came by this album by, by accident actually. I was in a record shop and I was just looking through lots of records and this album just caught my eye and I picked it up and I liked the cover. I took it home, listened to it and I fell in love with it from that moment. I haven't stopped listening to it since then and that was 20 years ago. Unfortunately, I don't play this anymore on a record player. This record lives on my desk to look at. But I do own this on CD and as a digital download as well. I still listen to the music. Uh, I've been listening to this music for over 20 years now. But I, I keep the record as a memento of my discovery, of discovering music. If my house was on fire and I could only save one possession, it would be my cell phone. This cell phone that I have now, I got, I think, on my 16th or 17th birthday. I use my cell phone a lot. Um, I do it for everything. When I'm driving, I use it for GPS, text, emails, internet. On the screen, I have a mirror so that when the screen isn't lit up, I can just like look at myself and make sure that I look okay. And it's really good for like putting lipstick on and stuff. The screen itself is cracked because I've dropped it a few times, but I'd say for having it for a year and a half, two, two years, it's in pretty good shape. I've lost my phone um, a few times. I'm definitely emotionally attached to my cell phone. It's like my best friend. <laughs> Well, my most treasured possession is my mate from Argentina. It was given to me by work friends as a birthday present a few years ago when I was working in Argentina. It's something which is very common over there and it's used for drinking a kind of uh, South American tea. So you put the, the tea inside, there's uh, a little bit of it there, and you pour in hot water and then you use the metal straw which is the bombisha, to drink the tea like that. This one is quite plain, but it's covered in leather on the outside. And you can see it's stitched there, and it's got a little stand, so you can stand it up. It's got a metal ring around the top. The, the straw, the bombisha, is just made from metal. And it's, it's not very heavy. Um, it's probably about the size of a, of a tennis ball, I would say, and it's it's, it's very nice to hold, in fact. It fits perfectly into, into the hand. Now it sits on my desk in my office and my work colleagues in this country think it's rather strange because they've never seen one before. So people come up to me and they say, what's that strange thing on your desk? It brings back memories of Argentina it's something that uh, I like to, to have with me to remind me of my, uh, of my time there. My most treasured possession is my charango, which is a kind of small guitar. It comes from South America. And I bought this one in Ecuador about 15 years ago. And it cost about 50 US dollars. It's made, it's made of wood, 
it's probably heavier than it looks. Um, and it has strings that are just like guitar strings, really like classical guitar strings, but shorter. I think it's incredible how much sound it makes, how much really loud sound for something so small. And it's also a sound that instantly transports me back to, to that part of the world, to Ecuador, to Bolivia, to Peru, where you hear the music that com that's played with the charango quite a lot. I promise myself I'm going to learn to play it properly, but really I just know one or two chords. But it's so, it's, it sounds so nice just playing a few chords that I'm kind of happy. If my home was on fire and I had to grab something, it would be my crystal jewelry box. The history of the jewelry box is that my grandmother always had this on her dresser with her perfume bottles. My grandmother's, her prized possessions, you know, were, were always in here. This jewelry box means so much to me because I really loved my grandmother. I know it's an object and most objects can be replaced you can't replace this. this. This is my life, this is my mom's life, this is my grandmother's life, and it's just something that I treasure. If my house was on fire and I could only save one thing, it would be the package of letters that me and my brother exchanged. These letters were actually an exchange between him and me uh, maybe about four or five years ago. And we wrote them back and forth to each other when he was in Texas and I was in Chicago and we were both living on our own. And I've just kept them in this um, manila folder uh, and it's coming apart. This is actually um, an envelope that he used to send me some of his drawings in. So I've saved them for this long and I don't think it's been that long, but um, I've traveled with them everywhere and. I haven't read them all the time, but just having them with me is um, is comforting. We've we've developed a relationship through uh, writing each other, whether it's been on letters through letters or whether it's been on email, um, and so just the exchange of our experiences and our stories helps to give us a better sense of where we come from and what we're going through, and to also help you know inspire and motivate each other as well. Well, it's time for me to end this letter. I hope you enjoyed it. You're always in my thoughts and in my heart. I love you more than words. Take care, big sis. I miss you so much. Right back, your brother Akram.